I hope to do a little feeding video tonight. Um, I got to clean the water bowl. I cleaned it this morning, and my eight uh, American toads that I, I captured as little transformed pollywogs uh, in September of this year. It's now November three. Um, they're growing very quickly. I'm keeping this rock here. It feels like about 90 degrees. I'm just using the incandescent light on them. And uh, I'm feeding them mealworms. And they are plump little uh, frogs now. Uh, just by the size of them, you can see how big they are. I'm going to place them all over there by the feeding bowl. I've got a bunch of mealworms in there. And I'm putting these guys in here. You can see that big guy right there. He's chowing down on the uh, mealworms right now. And uh, this will give me an opportunity to clean out this water hole while uh, I'll just keep the camera facing over there. Try to clean their water bowl at the same time. So far, I think I'm doing pretty good. I don't know what you've seen on camera, but I'm sure that some of the toads are grabbing hold of these little mealworms or the mealworm beetles and uh, going to town on them. Uh, now I've got that pretty much taken care of. Oh, everybody's out of the feeding area now. They might be going back and hopping into the water. Oh, this guy's going to get in there. Probably has one of the funner parts of having American toads. Is that uh, they're really, really active animals. I do keep a lid on this enclosure so that uh, they don't climb out or jump out. Oh, look at this big guy. American toads are so cute. He's just crawling. Look how fat he is, too. But I feed him lots and lots of mealworms. Uh, probably, I don't know what there is in there right now. Maybe 40 or 50 mealworms. I have uh, four different colonies going at right now. And uh, at this rate, I'm going to have to start feeding them uh, some auxiliary food, I think. But American toads, who would have thought they make such wonderful, sort of friendly. Well, they're not exactly friendly. But they certainly are interesting animals. Like I said, this rock area here is right underneath the incandescent light. And it gets up to at least 90 degrees. And sometimes they're just stacked like that. Uh, Cordwood here. Well, we want to capture some more feeding activity. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. They aren't really driven by hunger that much. They get lots of food. That's one of the reasons they've uh, gotten so large and just so good. Maybe a month and a half. And this is what they like to do in the water bowl. Get in there and they sort of scrub at their skin with their back legs. And uh, I think they utilize it to, uh, <laughs> well, maybe to grow. I'm not sure. I've never uh, had American toads as uh, pets before, but uh, my goodness, I can't say enough about how wonderful they are, at least when you get them just transformed from tadpoles. Uh, they are fantastic. I've tried doing tree frogs before, but they uh, are a lot more difficult and uh, 
I have succeeded in having them for almost half a year, but then they seem to not do so well after that. Something like that may occur with these uh, toads, but I don't think they will. I think they're just going to thrive. Well, I hope you enjoyed my toad video. I can't imagine how big they'll be in three years. I think I'm going to have to have a much larger enclosure. <laughs>